How have you applied quantitative decision tools to better understand human behavior? Psychology and economics um, have all kind of gone through these, these arcs where they're, they're thinking about people in, in more of that uh, you know, explicit independent way where we're building up a model of, of, um, of behavior and I think a lot of that has been uh, you know, challenged. Our, our models are always imperfect. Um, we're, sometimes they're useful and I think that's when you can build up an, a, a, an analytic model uh, that does capture your base assumptions. You have something with which to capture differences from that and that in itself becomes a, a way of understanding behavior and how it actually is different from your model. So I'd say that um, it's important to sort of not fall in love with any one um, set of assumptions, but without them you can't necessarily see how you're wrong or learn as easily. So it's sort of a, a Bayesian approach, I guess. You kind of understand that these models have already been thought through by a lot of really smart people who work in kind of sometimes a limited you know, space they may in a lab and not be externally valid, but at least it's a good starting point. And if you want to attach to all of the good thinking that went into creating these models, you kind of have to understand them, mm -hmm. um, but not fall in love with them. You can't, they can't be um, an end of themselves. They can't, they just have to serve as a starting point.